This is another reason why I am very weary before I start publicly saying I'm a Muslim because doesn't this say right here that it is permissible to kill a Muslim in only three instances if they commit adultery, if they commit murder, and if they forsake the religion and separate from the community. I don't want to be murdered. Wallahi, my brother, Islam does not need you. You will never do Islam a favor by accepting Islam, not at all. Rather, Islam will be the one doing you a favor by allowing you to become one of the Muslims. If you are not yet sure of yourself and all you think of is to accept Islam in the morning, and maybe leave it in the afternoon, you can do yourself a great favor by remaining where you are. No, but seriously, I used to believe something that I no longer believe. So how do I for sure know that I'm going to believe this for the next 40 years? And if I'm continuing to make com content online and I'm continuing to gain influence around the world, and then in 10 years I'm like, yeah, I don't really believe it anymore. I'm just thinking ahead. I'm just thinking ahead, okay? I can see a pattern in my life where I, I used to believe something and I no longer believe it. So if that pattern repeats, I hope it doesn't, inshallah. If that pattern repeats, according to this hadith, blood can be... Let me make something clear to you right here. The truth is objective and not subjective. So something cannot be true in the morning just to become a lie in the evening. And if a person is so fortunate to be exposed to the truth and he sees the truth and recognizes the truth because Islam is the truth that reconciles and connects perfectly with your natural instincts as a human being. Nothing comes after the truth except falsehood. So you are of no use if you can allow the truth to follow falsehood after you have been exposed to the truth after you have recognized the truth and accepted it. And for the truth to remain the truth and maintain its relevant position, it must be fortified and not just allowed carelessly for anyone to toil with anyhow so that people will plan to disprove Islam and make just out of Islam by first of all accepting it just to come out and say that when we went in, we did not even see anything interesting. If you, if you do not see anything interesting in the truth, then you are of no use to the world. And it's get really funny, man. Right now you are a Christian. But the Bible approach to apostasy is, the, is worse than the Quran. Because it allows jungle justice to be done to anybody who apostatizes by ordering, the, by ordering your own brother to be the first to put you to death. If... You think if you just think of apostatizing, that is the Bible's version. The execution of the penalty of apostasy, according to the Islamic law, is supposed to be ordered by a, by an Islamic judge in an Islamic court. And ordinary people are not supposed to take laws into their hands. So if the Christians were practicing theirs very well, then if you just think of apostatizing, your brother has the right to take away your life. And he has to invite whosoever who is interested to come and join. And we can imagine the type of chaos that will bring in the community. The Quran doesn't talk about this as far as I know. As for those who claim that the penalty for adultery is not mentioned in the Quran, then Islamic scholars like Sheikh bin Baz have cited this verse in Surah Tawbah, verse number 5, where Allah instructs the Muslims and says, And when the inviolable moons have passed, then kill the polytheists wherever you find them, and capture them, and besiege them, and sit in wait for them at every place of ambush. But if they should repent, establish prayer, and give zakah, then let go of them, and let go on their way. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And one of the procedures that is supposed to be taken by the Sharia law is to ask the person who apostatizes to repent and ask for forgiveness from Allah. And they are supposed to do that three times. Within those three times, if he accepts and repent, then he is allowed to go free. But if he insists and persists on abandoning Islam, therefore he has fallen the law and there is nothing anybody can do about it. He has 
to face the penalty of apostasy. Again, you guys are acting like I shouldn't be worried that I just read something that says I deserve to die if I leave Islam. How would I not be worried about that? Do you know why when somebody becomes a Muslim, we do not say he has converted, but rather we say he has reverted to Islam? Because Islam is the natural truth that corresponds to the natural instincts of every human being. In fact, the Prophet Sallallahu said in this hadith, Kullu mauludin yulad ala fitra. Every newborn baby is born into the fitra. The fitra is the natural state of a human being that has not yet been corrupted. And he goes forward to say that then his parents will make him a Jew or they will make him a Christian or they will make him a, a, a Majus. That is to tell you that Islam is not strange to any human being. The truth about Islam is not strange to any human being who is still at their natural senses. Then you will recognize this truth and we all accept the fact that truth is objective and not subjective. And afterwards, you go back to say that, no, you, you have discovered that this truth was a lie. Because like the Quran says, like Allah asked, What else is there after truth except falsehood and misguidance? So if you are really sincere, then when you see the truth and you recognize the truth, you will never ever think of leaving it one day. Jason doesn't have a problem with someone being killed for killing another human being. Grayson doesn't have a problem with someone being killed for committing adultery. But Grayson has a problem with someone being killed for betraying Allah and betraying the truth. Which one is greater? Taking the right of a human being or taking the right of the creator of the whole world? So I pray that you know God for who he really is and you respect and honor him as he deserves to be respected and honored. That way, you will not put the human interest above the interest of the creator of human. We will leave it here for today. Please do not go away without subscribing. Turn on the notification button and share our video. May Allah bless you as you do so. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.